Hi guys, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back to my YouTube channel, welcome to this new brand battle video. Now this one is the battle of the spiking waxes. I've got Gatsby up against Got To Be. Obviously guys, I'm not at home at the moment. I'm actually in Denmark with Highland Park Whiskey. I'm on a press trip and I was like, I'm running so late, I need to get out of my flat. I'm going to film the video in a hotel, so sorry if the lighting's not great, if the sound's not great, but let's just go with it. So I wanted to do this one because quite a lot of you ask about spiking waxes and spiking products and it's something that I don't often do. Also these are budget products and again, I kind of stay clear of them because I think a lot of other products do better jobs, but this is this one, I'm going to do it. It's Gatsby, we've got got to be, I'm going to go through several different factors like all my brand battles, we're going to talk about what the products actually are, the ingredients, the packaging, the smell, consistency, ease of application, styling, finish, washability, price, and then finally my verdict and who will reign supreme. I've got to say guys, this one, literally one of these products is probably one of the worst products I've ever used. There you go. Before I get going, that is a spoiler, please do press subscribe if you're new to my channel and you've not yet pressed subscribe. The button is just below this video, give it a big click and also make sure those notifications are on. But here you go, this is going to be an interesting brand battle. The two products that we've got up against each other, we've got the got to be one. I've used the hairspray before, the glued hairspray, but this is the styling wax. Now this is part of the Schwarzkopf group, which is a German group. They've got various sort of different lines, but this is the glued, so it's all about extreme styling. And the second one is Gatsby, and this is part of their styling wax. Now Gatsby have also got that moving rubber that so many of you talk about, but this one I think is fairly new. Now this is actually from Vietnam, my friend Tony Tran. Hello Tony, thank you for bringing me these back, and brought me back a few different ones. So I thought, this and this one are really the most comparable. I'll do it in this video. Looking at the ingredients, because they're both waxes, you'd expect wax or something at least oil-based to be at the top of there. Uh, but really guys, these have got water at the top, which I think is slightly misleading being called a wax. Uh, but we will get on to that. Looking at packaging, we've got the Gatsby one here in this red packaging. Not much to say about it. It's a bit, I say it's a bit. It's tacky, I think it's naff. Naff is a word I wouldn't use because naff is naff, but this is naff. The picture of the guy on the front, I'm like, oh, come on. Versus got to be, which again, not a huge fan of the yellow, but that's part of their glued range. Quite like the silver hardware laid on the top. It just feels slightly more premium for a high street product. Easy point, got to be. Both these products, I think, smell quite lemony. You've got the Gatsby one, which has got a slightly more sour, a bit like a sherbet lemon sort of smell to it versus the got to be, which actually is slightly lighter, and I would say sort of creamier in the fragrance. I actually don't mind each of them in terms of smell, but the one which I do prefer is got to be. Talking consistency and how the product actually feels, you've got this one, the Gatsby one, which really is very, very, very creamy. I'm gonna say that one more time. Really creamy, not waxy at all. You get it into the hands, warms up pretty well, but guys, you will find that it starts to dry almost instantly. It's literally dry in your hands and it feels sticky. Versus the got to be, which again is still very creamy, but it's actually harder and has more of that sort of waxy texture to it. Also another main thing, major thing, is that it doesn't dry in your hands. So the point, again, very easy, goes to got to be. Ease of application is where this brand battle gets very interesting and where I really do let loose. Gatsby, it was already hard in my hands, so to get it through my hair was almost impossible. It was sticky, it was tugging, it was unenjoyable. Um, this product does say on it that it's reworkable. I'm sure it does. It says somewhere, yeah, hairstyle with restylable finish. Sure, I couldn't even apply it to my hair. Versus got to be, which, you know, still not great. Slight stickiness to it, but it went through the hair and it didn't dry hard. Easy point, got to be. Moving from application into styling, this one really, again, properly, really, really bad at styling. I know my hair is slightly longer, but a product shouldn't be doing this. This was tugging at my hair. I had hairs coming out in my hands. Versus got to be, which fine was okay, could build some volume, and it still felt quite creamy and waxy. Easy point again, got to be. Looking at hold, both products say they have got a strong hold, and actually that Gatsby one does have a strong hold because it dries so quickly. Um, that said, you know, actually if you've got slightly shorter hair for this, spiking might be fine, but it just worries me that it was tugging so much and it dried so quickly when styling it. Versus the got to be one, which again had a fine hold, and it actually was reworkable because it does have slightly more of that sort of oil compound in it. So the point for finish, really 
not again impressed with either of them and not something I'd want to style my hair with, but the point goes to, got to be. Talking washability, this one, the Gatsby one, luckily, after all that, washes out very easily. I mean, you do have to use a little bit of shampoo just to get the rest of it out, but not bad at all, Gatsby, at last. Versus the got to be one, which again washes out very, very easily. Actually, I used this one last and I just washed my hair with water and then styled it with a tiny bit of product here. So this one, the got to be, was just slightly easier. It gets the point. For pricing this one, guys, it's so difficult. It skews so much. So I've linked a few of them in the description below. You can check out yourself depending on where you live. But in the UK for Gatsby, I found it for about £10.78. The US, $9 at its cheapest. Then looking at the got to be, it's as cheap as £3 in the UK versus about $10.88 in the US. So this one is so hard to call. Different sites, different prices, different places. It's a draw. So looking at points and my verdict, we've got eight points for the Got To Be versus one Mercy point for the Gatsby. I would say that for both of these products, although this one came out on top with eight points, there are so many other really good high street products, really good high street wax products. These for me aren't waxes. You know, if you're looking for a good high street wax, Toning Guy, VO5, Fish, fudge, the fish one actually is really, really great. A really good solid wax. It's about five pounds from Boots. I'll link as many as possible, you know, down below. But these I just think come in below par. This one, fine. This one, tugging at my hair, drying hard, unenjoyable. If you do use this one and you enjoy it, stick with it, guys. But this is me, my humble personal opinion, right there. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Really hope you've enjoyed this one. If you did and you've not yet pressed subscribe to my channel, then press subscribe, the button is up there. Give it a big click. Also more video suggestions down there and a link to my blog. I've got a competition to win one of five brawn groomers. Go check it out. And then guys, come back on Sunday for any guy who has ever shaved, wet shaved especially, watch this video on Sunday. You will like it. See you then.